All right, just a real quick check where we're at. So we've solved it analytically. We've used Euler's method, uh, um, Hoyne's method, midpoint method. All right, so now we're on Ralston's method uh, with h equals 0 0.5. So let's uh, go ahead and go down and get started. Uh, Ralston's method, again, is, is a second order, uh, second uh, order uh, runge kutta. And for the second order runge kutta, the, the general formula we have is yi plus 1 equals yi plus, uh, and then we have a1k1 plus a2k2 times h. And for the second order runge kutta, we have, or, or excuse me, for Ralston's method, we have a1 equals one third and a2 equals uh, two thirds. So, um, so the, the Ralston's method then becomes yi plus one equals uh, yi plus one third k1 plus uh, two thirds k2 all times h. All right, uh, and then uh, k1 is the same k1 as it has been before. It's uh, f of, and I'm going to use the x's here again because it's the general x i y i and we'll make this particular for our problem in a minute. And then k2 equals f of, and this is where it's different, so it's xi plus 3 fourths, um, 3 fourths h. And then we have uh, yi plus 3 fourths h times our slope of k1 times k1. All right, and then uh, and then our y plus 1 uh, resulting there. So uh, let's go ahead and, and at least step through 1. So let i equals, i, I equals 0. We'll at least make one step here. So uh, setting i equal to 0, that means that our uh, y uh, 1 equals y0 plus 1 third k1 plus 2 thirds k2, all that times h. And so then we need to get our k1. So k1 um, um, is given by 1 times uh, 0 cubed, because this is, again, this is our function, this is our function here, yt cubed minus 1.5y. So that's 1 uh, times 0 cubed minus 1.5 times uh, y, which is again 1. So that's equal to minus 1.5 as we found before. And then we have our k2 equals, well, k2 is equal to f of t naught plus 3 fourths h and uh, y naught plus three fourths h times k1. So the first let's find out what our t is and I'm just going to call this, I'll call it tk2 <laughs> or something. It's just We just need to figure out before we can evaluate anything what this t is. And so that's going to equal uh, zero, that's t naught plus three fourths times our h was uh, 0 0.5 and so that is going to equal 0 0.375 and then we have our y, I'll just call it yk2 <laughs> the y we need for counting for, for computing k2 is going to be y0 so that's 1 plus 3 fourths times uh, h which is uh, 0 0.5 times k1, which is minus 1.5. And that's going to give us uh, 0 0.4375. All right, so that means that our k2, our k2 equals just is f of, now 
we finally figured out what it's f of. f of 0 0.375, 0 0.4375. So now uh, we can just uh, plug those values in so to our original. So that's going to be uh, 0 0.4375 times 0 0.375 cubed minus 1.5 times our uh, 0 0.4375 and so that is going to equal minus 0 0.6 Three, two, and that's of course because uh, this is going to be small because it's cubed, and this has a 1.5 here, and it's negative, so that's going to overpower this positive part. So we're going to have a minus uh, point uh, six three three two, and then we get our y1. So I'll just put it up here. Y1 is equal to y0 uh, plus. Well, I've already written it out a bunch of times here. Let's just go up a little bit. Um, see, there it is. It's right there. So y0 plus that. So that's just going to equal y0 is 1 plus 1 third. And let's, um, let's uh, plus, we need a square bracket around this, make it easier to see. Uh, times k1, which is minus 1.5 um, uh, plus 2 thirds times uh, k2, which is uh, 0, 0 0.5389, and then that's times by 0.5. And that is going to be equal to, oh, well, excuse me, I was using the wrong value here. The value here that we needed to use was, um, let's see, we can scroll down and see it, negative 0 0.6332. 0 0.6332, I'm getting ahead of myself. And the, the result of that is, 0 0.5389. So that is our y1. And then of course we could go on and we would say uh, i equals 1. Um, so we have y2 equals y1 plus k1. This is going to be that. 1 third k1 plus uh, 2 thirds k2 times h and on and on and on. Okay, uh, so there we go and that is uh, at least one step of Ralston's method, uh, second order range cut method.